Good morning, everybody. Coffee with Chandra coming out of the heartland. It is a Friday morning, beautiful Friday morning. And I just thought I'd chat with you for a few minutes. How's everybody doing today? Just having a little coffee. My coffee this morning is delicious. It's the same as I've been drinking, but it kind of tastes a little chocolatey at the end. And who wouldn't like that? I don't know. So, does everybody have any exciting plans for the weekend? I'm just chatting a little bit while my live gets sent out a little bit. So if you're watching the recording, you can probably skip ahead just a little. I don't know what I'll do this weekend. I have some to-do things, to-do list, but do some reading and some other things. And also, I probably won't watch the game. Who am I kidding? But I have my Iowa State scarf on. Woo, go State! It's homecoming weekend. It's been a rough year. <laughs> They're not very good, but what are you going to do? Well, why don't we get started? Let's get this party started, people. Friday morning. The title of my video, and I added it before I started, was Embrace the Green-Eyed Monster. Are you ever green? Are you jelly? <laughs> Have you ever said, hey, don't be a hater? Or you've heard, haters gonna hate? That's in a lot of songs, actually, if you listen to Taylor Swift, which I typically don't, but I, I know. <laughs> or hearing about the green-eyed monster or they're just Jay. That was a new one. I actually looked that up last night. Jackie's probably up on all these slang terms. Are you just Jay? <laughs> Are you jelly? <laughs> I feel like I'm too old to be saying these things and be cool about it, but I'm talking about jealousy. Jealousy. <laughs> Thanks for the like, baby. Jealousy is an ugly emotion and one that we should try not to have, but there's a way to exploit it, to use it to your advantage. But before I go into that, because I kind of heard that tweak the other day in something I was listening to, I'm like, huh, that's a great idea. But in case anyone doesn't know what jealousy is, and I'm pretty sure most people do, I thought I would say what jealousy is. It's an emotion and it's thoughts and feelings related to security, concern, anxiety, fear, fear of change or fear of, I don't know, whatever you're fearful of, I guess. Um, over an anticipated loss of status or something of great personal value, particularly in reference to a human connection. So you're typically jealous of someone because they have something you want. And it might not be a physical thing. Hey, Jackie, did you see my Iowa State scarf? Go State. I'm always jealous of Jackie. She has the coolest scarves. She's my hero. She's my scarf hero. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I got a little distracted by my red scarf there. Um... <clears throat> You're usually jealous of someone, not because of always of a physical thing that they have, but it might be that they're in a relationship and you wish you were in that kind of relationship. Or <clears throat> maybe they have a skill that you wish you had. See where I'm going with this here? Irish writer Elizabeth Bowen once wrote, I love this quote, you're jealous of my scarf. Don't be jelly. Don't be a hater. <laughs> I feel so dorky saying that, so I'm going to stop. So, quote by Irish writer Elizabeth Bowen. Jealousy is no more than feeling alone against smiling enemies. I love that quote. That's actually a really cool way of saying it. Morning, Lori. I'm talking about the, the green-eyed monster, the green-eyed monster. 
and how to embrace it, how to, how to leverage that to your advantage. So jealousy is no more than feeling alone against smiling enemies. There's a lot of ramifications there. And it's, it's so, I thought it was so apropos. I love that quote. <clears throat> so you can think about that a little bit. But when you're jealousy, it's basically that you want something someone else has. Their job, their car, their life their relationship maybe they just got a new video game I don't know what's hot right now if it's Xbox or I don't know anyway something like that maybe you're jealous of that maybe you're jealous of their new coach purse that they got maybe it's things that are a little less superficial like skills that they have or they they can easily build rapport with other people they can get along well with other people really easily but really in your mind you're thinking I want that thing and if it's a skill you're thinking well you know what I could do that and I can do it better than they can let jealousy be a motivator to push you <clears throat> and propel you to your better self. Think about that. Propel you into being your better self. <clears throat> Use jealousy. Use it. If you have it, you know, a lot of times we're told, well, you're not supposed to hate. You're not supposed to be jealous. You're not supposed to this. Well, how do you not? Here's a way to not be jealous. Whatever you're jealous of, especially if it's a skill or, you know, if somebody's always going, oh, one of my coworkers currently is in Florida. <coughs> I'm not jealous of him, but he goes on a lot of trips. But if somebody's like, oh. I wish I was in Florida right now. Well, you could be. Change what you're doing. Change your job or your lifestyle. It's up to you. Don't just sit there and, and just stew about it. Think about how you can change to accomplish the things in your life. So you, you're like, I'm not jealous of anybody. I have the life I want to have. <clears throat> I have the life I want to have. Okay, so decide that, and then you can decide how to get there. But don't be jealous. I've heard people, and I wouldn't have even thought it was called jealousy, but you know, if something good happens to someone, and maybe the person talking about them, again, gossip, maybe the person talking about them is unhappy in their own life. And they're like, why do they get all of these advantages? Why do they get a new job? Why did they find somebody to be with that's a, it's an awesome boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse? Good morning, Morgan. That's jealousy. If you're like, well, well why, do, why do they get that and I don't? Well, you're the one that can change that. Take that jealousy. Turn it around into a motivator. I can help you with that. Or I have some tips. If you let me know, just contact me. Because really, changing your life to be how you want... That is what life is about. If you're unhappy in your life, well, that's your own problem. And you know what? There is only one you. There's only one lifetime that you're living here. So take a, take full advantage of all the things you can do. And in that, take full advantage of all the ways you can help people. If you If you're like, oh, that person has a better job than me. So do something. <clears throat> To propel your income forward and in doing that maybe you can do something that <clears throat> excuse me it's morning time hello 
maybe you can do something that you've dreamt about doing to help other people like you know what I'm gonna start that foundation that I've always wanted to start and that's gonna help you know battered women or I've mentioned before like helping a shelter or starting an orphanage in Africa it whatever your dreams are it's never too small too big it's never too big <laughs> so take that jealousy take that green-eyed monster and turn it around use that ugly emotion to your advantage everything in life is giving you an advantage it's what you do with it what you decide to do with it <clears throat> it's your decision so just do it all right and go stay maybe we'll win one I don't even know if we've won, won any games this year probably not <laughs> but we, what are you gonna do well I hope everyone has an awesome weekend well a great Friday to begin with I'm not gonna skip ahead because I think we should take joy in every moment as we're going through hey it's Wayne morning Wayne I was just wrapping up I was talking about jealousy and you know what take jealousy and use it to your advantage embrace it to make you a better person anyway have a, a fabulous Friday I'm having lunch with my mom later so that will be exciting um, I think that's about it everybody have a fabulous weekend and go do something or do something for yourself whether it's taking 10 minutes to read or finding out what motivates your jealousy if you're jealous even if you don't call it jealousy if you kind of envy someone a little bit why what can you do to make yourself overcome that go Cubs oh isn't that an exciting year some uh, guy in our office was really depressed the other day so he's having an emotional roller coaster this week <laughs> but I think they're due I think that it would be awesome Anyway, um, oh, Lori, you're jealous. You, I get to see, I can't even read. I'm trying to change it. You're jealous. I get to see my mom. I love her. I will give her a big hug for you. And you'll have to schedule a time to go meet with her sometime. Or she could come see you. Either one. So there you go. Um, but have a great weekend. Find out what you're jealousy, what you're jealous of, and do some do something for yourself. <clears throat> and like my video if you'd like. And I love to see your comments; they're awesome. I appreciate hearing from people, and you know, some people I don't even know that are paying attention or watching or whatever. So <laughs> I love you all, and I will see you in the next video.